Alright people, here is the deck profile for the Earthbound Monarch deck. So, it wasn't the greatest deck on Daily Duels, but I mean, it's better than anything that's going up this month, but I don't want to get into it anyway. Uh, it was pretty much Earthbounds with the Monarch mechanic, there's not much to say about it. You pretty much can, the Earth, Monarchs are just so fucking good and so fucking consistent with their, uh, Monarchiness that you can pretty much just throw at any tribute summon mechanic, and you'll probably be seeing something similar today because I'm playing BES, so I'm just gonna throw the Monarch engine with BES, and uh, yeah, so essentially you'll probably be seeing the same deck except instead of Earth Balance, just BES. You know, if I'm gonna throw the PK engine with Nordics, can I at least throw the Monarch engine with BES? Like, if I'm gonna be playing some shit ass decks during daily duels, can I at least make them remotely competent? Anyway, let's go over the deck so. One of each were not Earthbound Immortal. I wanted to go ahead and number generate them, make sure that I get them to my hand so I can uh, go ahead and do my Earthbound Immortal plays. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't, but pretty much it just is like you can go idea summon uh, Eidos, and Eidos will give you a different old uh, tribute summon. Tribute for uh, uh, your Earthbound Immortal. So instead of tribute summon for a monarch, tribute for Earthbound Immortal. You know? So uh, Udu. Uh, Whatever his name is, Paka, Silopiscu, whatever. Uh, we're going to run three uh, Arribus, because Arribus is great. Go ahead and send two Monarch Spells and Traps to uh, spin a card from the hand or field to get non targeting. It's just a wonderful card. Like, Arribus is great. Uh, we run after there because there's really nothing to do with Ezra in here, so I was like, nah, not necessary. So we'll just do Arribus. And uh, he put in that work. You know, sometimes you just see pure Monarch plays, but it put in that work. Uh, then the triple idos, triple idea. These two I think are like great. Like they make they make the monarch deck so good. Like I definitely recommend triple. I don't like people running only two because sometimes you really want to summon that one from the deck. Like come on. So uh, definitely three of you, three of you. So good, so good. And that's really all the monsters. Thirteen monster counts pretty low. Rota, get an idea. Upstart because it went down to one. It kind of hurts, but still there. Uh, triple Panditi, fucking cards are broken and they didn't hit it at all. So you already know. Terraforming uh, as you can. To get my um, domain, as you can clearly see, there is no tenacity because the only thing I can reveal for tenacity is a reaper, so I can run tenacity. So I was like triple terraforming, make sure I get my fill spell, make sure I get my domain through those means. March Storm Fourth cards ridiculously good, searchable. You know, I totally don't mind going Edos, get additional normal summon or tribute summon, Monarch Storm Fourth tribute your shit, tribute my shit, summon Arp on Immortal. Uh, uh, March. Tribute monsters can be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Awesome. We'll probably be doing that in uh, the upcoming BES as well. Then, of course, domain. Because uh, nine times out of ten, uh, what hurts uh, Earthbound Immortals? You use someone from the extra deck and, like, cast Stelling my shit, right? Cast Stelling my Phil Spell away. So, I'm about to just make it so you can't go to the extra deck. You can't target monsters by uh, targeting them by battle. I mean, targeting by card effect or destruction. And you can't target them by battle, and I just fuck you up with Earthbound Immortals. That's just. Uh, Triple Twin Twister, because I love Twin Twister, fuck back row. Uh, Vanities, Warning, Strikes, and then two Prime. I rarely use this card, especially on the field. And then the Graveyard, I also rarely used it. I should probably use it more often, but, you know, there's not as many Monarch Spells and Traps in here, so this doesn't get as many Vanishes, uh, but, you know, it's Monarch deck, come on. So, of course, no, no extra, and no side, so it's a pretty quick deck profile, but there you go, so... Uh, like I said, it wasn't a bad deck. We, we won a handful of duels with it. Did the Earth Bounds necessary? No, it's kind of a cute play. The deck, of course, is much better. It's just a pure Monarch deck, but, you know, it was Earthbound Monarchs, and we did Earthbound Monarchs, so. Now we're doing BES. I'll throw in the Monarch engine. Like, we're probably seeing a lot of the same shit, you know, a lot of the same shit, and we'll see how it goes down. So, uh, thanks for the deck suggestion, I guess, and I will see you guys attempting to use BS. Uh, thanks for watching.